is everybody out in Facebook land tonight? Handy Mandy here. Handy Mandy has a slight problem. Her nails need to be done really bad, and I just have not had time to do it. So I'm really sorry, Mandy, but you're just going to have to deal with your crappy fingernails right now. So basically, her hands look kind of like my own. Um, I am not a hand or nail person. I don't... I don't really care what my nails and my hands look like. My hands are so dry. My cuticles are just horrible. Um, and I, I, I don't care. I just don't care. So hopefully you don't watch me because you want to see some beautiful manicured hands because you're in the wrong place and you're going to want to move along and find someone else because mine are horrible. Anywho... Oh my gosh, you guys, I barely made it again. I think I told you last week when my daughter was here, we were messing around and playing cribbage and lost track of time and things got out of hand and oh my gosh, she's gone. And today was a complete disaster. It's a complete disaster. My hair is a disaster. It's just not, I'm not feeling it right now. Um, I could not come up with any projects. I struggled. Ooh, somebody got their bow maker. Who was that? Oh, Joanne, you're very welcome, Joanne. Yes, uh, I did have a special last month, you guys. Um, if you ordered $100 from me between the 1st and the 15th of March, then I would send you a jumbo bow maker. Oh, yes, this is what it looks like. Uh, although I think there was a few that were a different color than this. Anywho... Chris, yes, I love my reorganization. Um, and so I sent those out um, at the beginning of the week. I think it was. I don't know. This whole week has just been an absolute blur. Um, my son's going to prom, and all of a sudden it was an emergency that I get to the tuxedo place with him. And so I had to drop what I was doing a few nights ago and go do that with him. My daughter went home on Tuesday. She didn't leave till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I didn't really get to work that day. So I've got so... I'm so behind, you guys. So behind. Um... I've got my online classes I need to get prepared. I mean, I know what I'm doing. I know what stuff I'm using for them, but I don't have the projects done yet. And I hate that. I am a pretty organized person and I I don't like feeling under the gun. And I am feeling tremendously under the gun right now. Um, the On Tour, if some of you are demonstrators, um, Stampin' Up's On Tour events have been going. They started yesterday. Well, mine is tonight at six o'clock. So it's in like 50 minutes from now. So we're going to have to cut this one short. I've only got two projects for you again, so I'm sorry about that. But there's no way I could have come up with three anyways. This day has just been crazy. My daughter, um, they she, where she lives in her college town, she lives in a house with two other people. And the guy that she lives with told them that he was moving out. Fine. They were going to try to find a new roommate. Um, they thought they found a new roommate a couple times. The people kept flaking out and falling through. And then while she was here, her other roommate dropped the bomb that she was moving out. So that means my daughter either has to scramble and try to find two roommates, which they couldn't even find one, or she has to try to find a new place to live uh, by the end of May. So that was a little bit of a shock. So she, um, oh my gosh, is there some creeper on here? Oh no. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> All of a sudden I saw some some words and I thought, mm, we're, we, we may have to get rid of somebody. We don't. Anyway, so she's really stressed out. She's panicking, basically. Um, she went and looked at a place yesterday. It looks okay, but there's like no outlets in the room. It's in the basement of this house. There's no outlets. How, how do you have a room with no outlets? Well, then come to find out there's an outlet in the light fixture in the ceiling. Seriously? Who puts a light, an outlet in the light fixture in the ceiling? And how... How do you do that? Do you like staple an extension cord across the ceiling and down the wall? And what, you plug two things into it and you're done? I mean, it's just, so she's called me three times today, just panicking. So that took about, you know, over an hour of my day. Anyway, I've got to just, I've got to rein myself in. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. I do have to say a shout out to Sherry Pyre. I don't know if Sherry's watching tonight, but she does watch frequently. Sherry sent me a dishcloth here back in November when Kelly and Dina were visiting. She sent um, us each a beautiful scarf, and I think she gave us all a dishcloth, a knitted dishcloth. And my mother used to knit dishcloths all the time. She'd get this 
pretty. Oh, Sherry is on here. Yay. Um, and so my mom was a knitter and she knit dishcloths. And so I have, I have always had knitted dishcloths. And while well, my mom passed away about a year and a half ago, as you guys probably know, um, and you know, prior to that, you know, for a couple of years prior to her passing, she, she stopped knitting. So, um, I didn't have any left and Sherry sent me that one and I messaged her and I told her how thankful I was because I love those dishcloths. Bless her heart. <gasps> Look what she sent me. She sent me six dishcloths. Oh my gosh. I just, <sighs> Sherry, thank you so much. And they are so soft, so soft. And look how pretty they are, you guys. She asked me what colors I like. And I honestly, I, I didn't care. My kitchen is not like a themed kitchen that I have to have, you know, certain colors of stuff. I really didn't care. And so look at all these gorgeous dishcloths that she sent me. So Sherry, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I appreciate that um, a ton. And I'm very thankful. So you will be getting a thank you card from me in the mail soon. I've got to put that on my list of things to do. So yay, I know, isn't she amazing? Okay, well, you guys, I probably can't do a whole lot of blah, 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 blah because my on-tour event starts at six o'clock and we're supposed to make a swap card. I haven't done that either. It's just been a day. Okay, so I'm going to flip the camera and I'm going to show you a few things and then we're going to do the couple projects that I have. Um, and of course, my phone isn't um, charged at about, well, I go live at five o'clock. And at 4.30, I checked my phone. It was at 20%. So I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, could this day just get any, any worse? <laughs> I hate to say that, but it's just been crazy. All right, let me scoot stuff over because I've got my cord here plugged in. Let me get my little information out of here, out of the way. Um, I just, I guess I should check my iPad to see if I'm even, am I even live? Am I live? Oh yeah, there I am. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to make it bigger, but it's not. Uh oh. I guess I should check. Need to turn the volume down. Okay. Anyway, Mandy, Mandy, I would like you to help me, Mandy. No, don't tell me I'm frozen, Carol, please. Am I frozen for anybody else? My gosh, you guys, the wind here is horrendous right now, and I am terrified that the signal is going to go out. So I'm hoping that it's you, Carol, and it's not me. Um, but yeah, I know, don't go asking for more trouble, no doubt. Hear you, but my face is frozen. Not frozen. Okay, so you guys... Carol is frozen. Hopefully no one else is. I'm looking at my own iPad and I don't see that it's frozen, Carol. So no offense, but I hope it's you. Okay. So our, um, Kelly, Dina, and I do an online class every month, uh, a combined class that we, we combine forces to do it. And our combined force class this month is the Boho Indigo. Um, it's a product medley on, I believe, like page nine of the big catalog. It's retiring. Um, so we are going to be using it in our online class this month. So all the links to purchase it are in the description of this video. It will go live on April 23rd. Okay. So if you purchase it now, just know that you're not going to get anything from me until the 23rd, hopefully a couple days before that, but the 23rd for sure. Okay. Uh, my Totally Techniques Online Club. I just posted my chalkboard with a twist video on my YouTube channel. And I made another card like this, um, but I did send that off to one of the gals who's in the group. And I see her on here. Lisa's on here. So Lisa, your card is going out in the mail. Oh my gosh, probably tomorrow. I've just been, this, I've just been a wreck this week. Uh, went out, but it came back. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Um, so this is what we did, chalkboard with a twist. And so if you want to check that out, you can go to my YouTube channel and you can watch it there. You can watch me make them. So that is um, that. Okay, so my Totally Techniques Online Club, if you purchase $30 from me in a month and you mention to me that you want to be in my club, then I will send you the stamped card and the instruction card along with that. If you are consistently with me for six months in a row, I will then gift you with a $30 gift certificate. Okay, the retirement list you guys know is out. You can check it out at tinyurl.com slash barbstampsretirelist. Okay. Stamp Happy Academy, we are always accepting new members. And in fact, um, I have a winner. Uh, people that ordered from me between the 16th and the 31st of March, everybody who ordered went into a drawing. And the name I drew out was Susan Nakata. So I don't know if you're on here, Susan, but you are the winner of a three-month premium subscription to 
um, Stamp Happy Academy. So I will be messaging Susan uh, shortly, probably tomorrow, because tomorrow is kind of like my day off of work, even though it's not really a day off because it's I work all day. But it's like Facebook Live always stresses me out because I have to get all the projects done. And then Friday's like it's like a Saturday or Sunday for me anyway. So Susan, I will be messaging you about that. So Susan gets a free three month subscription. Um, as you guys know, the basic membership is our three online or four online classes. The one that I just showed you, the Boho Indigo. Um, another one that I'm doing is the Posted for You. I can't remember what the rest of the girls are doing, but there'll be four of them total. Okay. All right. Um, I still have some online class kits. I think I have six of these in blooms left. Um, so those are just about gone. I think I have one of those, one of those, three of those, three of those, and three of those. So if you're looking at any online classes, go ahead and uh, check the link in the description of the video. Uh, the Berry Blessings class, I think I have two of these left. I can also cut some more, uh, but I only have three of the bundles. So if you want a bundle, get that. I don't think the link's in the description, but I'm going to hopefully add it probably tomorrow. Okay. And then my adhesive kits, I still have some adhesive kits for sale. The link is in the description of this video. You get this super cute little pouch. It's about this big, and inside of it you will find a liquid glue, an adhesive eraser, glue dots, a clear ruler, a sand eraser, some tear and tape, a uh, seal, and some dimensionals. So there you go. Okay, so let me bring in uh, my first project box. Oh, yeah, and I don't even know, you guys, I didn't actually finish this card, so I don't even know if it's going to be good or not. We will see. And I actually have two different ones, so i got to figure out which one I actually want to uh, do. Um, I guess we'll try this one, and if it stinks, we'll do a different one. I don't know what else. I don't know. Okay, so this card, I don't know what it's called, but um, maybe it's some kind of an easel card perhaps. Do I have my sample here? Oh, good lord. No. Oh, yes I do. Something like this, where it'll stand up, you know, but then it goes above the top of the card. So it'll fit in an envelope because when you put it together, you make sure that it'll fit in an envelope. Um, and I thought I would use the Boho Indigo stuff and make one. So I don't really have the whole thing figured out. So we're just going to kind of wing it as we go. Um, first of all, I couldn't decide if I wanted a very vanilla or Knight of Navy card base, so I still don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, if I went with the vanilla, I might have gone with a Knight of Navy layer and then a piece of the designer series paper, because when you buy the Boho Indigo product medley, you get like an entire six by six pack or package of designer series paper. So you get 48 sheets. There are six double-sided patterns. You get eight pieces of each one. So you get a lot of paper in here. Um, and so I thought maybe I'd put some paper on it. Even if I don't use the vanilla, I will still go with the paper because the paper's amazing. Um, then I have a piece, well, you can see I, I'm gonna cut a new one, but this is two and three quarters by three and a half. And I need a new one. Oh, that's not big enough. Um, so I was kind of practicing on there and I hated that. So I thought, well, once you go live, you'll just have to figure it out. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to figure it out and hope that it works. Okay. So two and three quarters by three and a half vanilla. And then the layer that it goes on then is like two and seven eighths by three and five eighths or something like that. Or not something like that. That is what it is. Sorry. Um, and so then I didn't know if I wanted to stamp the sentiment and balmy blue, which I ended up hating, or if I should use just jade, which was better, but not, I don't love it. I'm kind of thinking maybe I'm going to go with some crumb cake. I don't know for sure, but we'll see. This is one of my brand new ink pads, you guys. Oh God, I haven't even opened it. It's pretty stiff. Um, it's got a tiny bit of stuff on it, so we're just going to dab a piece of tape onto that and get that um, fuzz off there. Okay, then the kit also comes with some uh, labels that, that are already die cut, and they have a nice gold pattern on them. You also get design or er, paper, vanilla paper that has been embossed already. It comes embossed. There's three different embossings that you get. Um, this one, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of like circles within themselves. 
and then this is like some uh, diamonds and then this is just kind of a tiny little flower pattern super cute um, you also get some leaves with gold accents on them um, just all kinds of fun stuff in this kit um, and then the last thing that it comes with is these tiny little flowers there are whoops the bag is open and I'm flinging flowers everywhere <laughs> oh I hope my on tour event waits for me okay so you get large ones and tiny ones so this is what we've got to work with um oh I actually colored one with a magenta madness marker and it does look pretty good it's a little dark so I, I use the dark so I think if I would have used the light I might like it a little bit better uh, but you can color those because I did so yeah that's kind of fun um what else do we got here okay I blah, 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 I need to figure out what I'm gonna do okay so I am going to stamp the sentiment at the top and I'm gonna do it in Night of Navy ink. So let me grab my Night of Navy because all of my ink pads are right here in front of me. That still does make me really super happy. And we will gently tap this into my brand new ink pad. Oops, that might not have gotten inky all the way. And I'm gonna stamp it up here at the top. Ugh, is it straight? Close my bad eye and I believe it is. Okay then i think we're gonna try i think we're gonna go we're gonna go for the crumb cake okay but i need a scrap of vanilla because i have not stamped this ink pad yet so i don't know if it's going to be too dark and if i do stamp it off is it going to be too light hmm oh, i don't know if i do that well then i already have cut out uh this is one of the bases that's in the set it's this large one right here but I knew it was going to be way too big so I did cut it down a little bit at the bottom I cut off oh, probably about this much these two sections I cut those off because I knew it was going to be too big and I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna like that so I'm kind of wondering how's that gonna look is that too much because then I also uh, die cut uh, a little gold thing and then I kind of thought, what if I took one of these green leaves and stuck it in there? I don't know. Oh, I only need one. And stuck one of those green leaves in there. Like I said, I had not, I had not figured this out at all. Um, and so this card might end up stinking really bad. Okay, I think, I think I'm going to stamp it off because I feel like this is just too dark. Okay, so... Now I'm probably going to ruin the whole thing. Oh, there we go. Uh, when is my cataract surgery? It is, I don't know yet. I don't see the surgeon until the 20th of this month. Um, and then I guess they'll schedule me um, after that. Um, I found out that he does surgeries, I think it's every Monday and every other Wednesday. It's either that or it's opposite. If it's not, then it's every Wednesday and every other Monday. I don't know. So not really... Um, that many times throughout the month so I mean I'm gonna assume even after I see the guy I might still have to wait you know a significant amount of time to get it done so I don't know I just keep closing my eye and not really driving too much all right I think we're gonna go with the navy layer or the navy card base and so that means I'm gonna cut this at like four and an eighth and four and an eighth this way there we go boy you guys I really do not like stamping on the fly I really like having my stuff figured out before before I do this I just feel like I don't know I don't like it okay um we also have in this bundle of goodies we also have some ribbon and I don't know maybe I could put some ribbon down here is that horribly ugly <laughs> okay we have that. I think we are going to add the leaf and the sprig to the back. <gasps> Ooh, wait a minute. Look what I just discovered. I just saw this. This looks kind of fun. Maybe we could do that instead of that solid leaf. Maybe um, this would look better. I don't know. 
I kind of think it does look better. Okay, so we are going to add some adhesive to the backs of this. And I think we'll kind of stick that right there. And I don't necessarily need this because my vase is gonna cover that up. And then this little guy, let's try to find a glue that isn't crappy. You know, my struggle with glue. Um, this one feels like there's glue in it. Whoa, that was too much. Oh, look at that. I cut off the top of that. Is anyone going to notice? I hope not. Okay. Whoops, there goes the wiggling. Sorry. I got my, my cord here. Okay, that's better. Then, and I also wonder if maybe I should cut this a little shorter. I mean, I can do whatever I want, right? I think I am going to cut this vase a little bit shorter. So I'm going to add a dimensional to it. And then we will add it. Uh, closing the eye. Oh, I know what else I could tell you guys that I was going to tell you guys. My daughter, when she was here, thank goodness, she went with me to the optometrist office uh, because I'm going to need new glasses when all this is said and done. But you know how it is when you go to the, oh my, what in the heck <laughs> is that? When you go to get glasses and you can't see, how do you know what looks good on you? So anyway, while she was here, I, she took, we went together. That was really funny. That was a total, total disastrous cut. I don't know what in the world was going on there, but it was not good. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> anyway, she went with me and she helped me pick some out. So we put them on my account at the optometrist office. And then, you know, when I get my eye all the way done, then we'll go get the new glasses. Ooh, Mary Ellen Ryan says hello from Montana. Hello, Mary Ellen. I actually used to live in Montana. I'm from Billings. So there you go. And my dad still lives up there. All right, so let's get this layer on. There's just going to be a tiny border. Uh, I'm hoping to be done with this Facebook Live, you guys, at about quarter till because I need to... Uh, run upstairs and put some food in the oven for my husband. I know he could probably do that himself, but he works hard and he works long hours and stuff. And so I feel like that's the least I can do anyway. So I will be going up and giving, putting some food on the, or in the oven for him. And then I have to quickly make a swap card. Uh, not quite sure what I'm going to do, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll try to do it on the fly like I'm doing here and just wing it. Uh, we're supposed to use the stamp set that we got, but they did say we could use, you know, something else if we didn't want to use that. So I'm going to use the new Flowers of Friendship, which I showed you in my chalkboard technique. That was the stamp set that I used on that. Super cute. Ooh, we've got somebody here from Cheyenne. Well, hello, Karen. Okay, um, so we've got the card kind of done. Um... Oh, gosh, do I dare try to tie this around? <laughs> you guys saw me last week. The struggle was tremendously real last week. Uh, we're going to try. This is a knot, so we're going to try to tie a knot. We're going to try to make it tight. And somebody mentioned using a glue dot. Um, and I, I'm not exactly sure what how to do that. So I'm going to try again doing my silly way that I do it and hope that it works. Get under there, you dumb thing. Okay. There. I think it worked. Yay me! Okay. So we will snip off the ends of this ribbon. And this ribbon does come in the, in the uh, product medley. In case I didn't say that. I think I did, but I don't know what I'm doing. Um... And then that, I don't know if I should have that a little lower. I don't know, where's my envelope? Um, oh, right here. I'm like, it was seriously just out here. Okay, so there is the card. 
And then you don't want it to go outside the envelope, obviously. Ooh, there's Susan. Does anybody want to tell Susan the good news? I'll tell you, Susan. Susan, you are the winner of a three-month premium subscription to Stamp Happy Academy. Yes, I drew your name out of uh, those who had ordered from me the last part of March. And you were the winner. So congratulations. So I will be getting with you probably tomorrow. Um, so we can get you um, all signed up and you can start checking out the old Stamp Happy Academy. All right. I'm not sold that that's what I want to do with that. But I'm also in a time crunch, so I can't care that much. Okay. But the only one other thing I do want to do is I want to add um, uh, some paper to the envelope flap. So if you get yourself a two and a half inch by six or well actually it's not quite six but get yourself a two and a half inch strip of designer series paper then you can um do that and color or cover your envelope okay there we go and then you just bump it up to the fold line there and press it into place. And I really like decorating envelopes. It's really, it's really fun. I don't do it all the time. I'm not gonna lie. I don't, every card that goes out of my house does not have a decorated envelope. Um, some do, some don't. Now let's be real, most don't. But I would like to, it's a goal. It's good to have a goal. Okay, so we are cutting this off. That's all you do is you just trim around the excess and then our card will fit in there. Ooh, I have a piece of vanilla here somewhere, don't I? Oh, you know what? Who says I can't use the back side of this, right? Because we could put it on something on the inside of the card. So we could go, oops, a four by four. That was already. And that way we'd have a place to write our message. Okay, so we're gonna line it up about like so and there we have it so here is card number one uh done let me close these ink pads up and put them away so i don't uh make a mess okay then let me put everything back in the bucket so I don't lose it. Oh my, here's, oh, you know what? We could put a flower on there. How about a tiny one? I think that big one's too big. Let's find a glue dot. Where's my glue dots? Let's add a glue dot to that. Okay, we're gonna press that down. We're gonna pick up a glue dot. And I think we'll just set it right here on our little vase. Oh yes, that's very cute. Okay, uh, this one I'm gonna stick in the box with all the papers and everything that come with it. So remember, this is retiring. Um, if you do want to get my online class for free with the pre-cut cardstock kit, you can, oh, Julie just said I was awesome on On Tour. Yes, I guess the, the cat's out of the bag, you guys. If you are a demonstrator or you are going to be attending an On Tour event, you will see yours truly doing a demonstration. So there you go. So I get to see myself tonight um, during, because I signed up for tonight. So, so thank you, Julie. I appreciate that because, you know, you never know. I do talk super fast, but they gave me an absolute limit um, that I could not go over 14 minutes. My presentation could not be one second longer than 14 minutes. And so I... Uh, it was 13 minutes and 56 seconds. And so I did have to talk really fast to get in everything that I wanted to say. Okay, Carol, I don't know if there is a name for this card or not. I call it an easel card, but I don't necessarily think that's correct. Um, I don't know. Let's just say that. Barb does not know. All right. Let me bring in the stuff for my next project. Where is it? Some of it's right here. There's some of it. Um, I need my baby boss and I wanted to use the well-written framelits because 
they're retiring and I haven't used them as much as I should. Um, they're amazing. And I think I told you guys this once before when I used them here recently that I had made this little cheat sheet kind of thing um, when the dies first came out. Um, and I, this, this, this thing just makes me so happy that I am going to be sticking this on the wall straight this way. So, um, it's going to become a decoration in my stamp room. So there you go. All right. Oh, Donna, thank you so much. She said I was awesome last night. Oh gosh, that's so sweet. Um, as far as I know, I will be on every on tour event between now and April 23rd. So, uh, you will get to, yeah. Uh, Karen, you're going to have to check your email. Um, and check your spam folder. I have no idea. And if you can't find your email, you'll have to call Stampin' Up. Okay. So we are going to use the thanks, obviously. And I have a die cut, um, a rainbow of thanks um, so far. And I'm going to do one more so you guys can see how I did it. I, oh, and I haven't decided what card base I want to use. So we may use one of these. We may not. I don't know. We'll see. But... To start it off, I have a little skinny strip of Bermuda Bay. This is like a one by two and a half, I think it is. And then this is a piece of adhesive, one of our adhesive sheets that I cut uh, to, I don't know, about three quarters of an inch. And I am going to peel these papers apart. Ugh, please. I don't know. No, I was going to say, I don't know if you need a fingernail. Apparently you don't, because I don't have any. Um, and I'm going to put this right along the edge there. Oops, there's a little tiny piece that I didn't peel off. Hold, please. Okay. Then, <laughs> did you tell them, Donna? <laughs> People were wanting to know my last name. I suppose they want to follow me now. They should because I am amazing. Just kidding. Okay. Baby Boss, we have our plates that come with the machine. It tells me I need plate one and two plates two. Two of plate two, which I have here. I have my paper, I have my uh, die that's basically in the middle. Now, you did notice that I didn't cover the entire piece with the adhesive. You don't need the entire piece covered. Um, I need a pokey tool, hold on. There's a bit of something stuck in there. Okay, so we're gonna put that on. Oh, and it's still stuck in there. Well, hopefully it'll go. I'm gonna put my lid on and I am going to, whoops, back up. I think I need to get a little closer here so it can grab and start going. There we go. Keep going. Hopefully this doesn't get too wiggly. Oh, you little sucker. Why does it do this? It didn't do this to me earlier. I don't know. I'm not surprised because this, today's been a, one of those days for me. There we go. I couldn't get in fast enough. <laughs> That's okay. They'll figure it out. All right. Get rid of the baby boss. There's my piece that I just cut. And we are going to remove the excess there. Where's my take your pick tool? And then I'm just going to kind of pop that out. Oh, there's like a piece of hair. What the heck? Okay. And we will just kind of peel this up. I haven't gotten an email yet. If I don't hear something soon, I'll call them. I, I don't know what day that is, Karen, but you should absolutely call. Yeah, if you haven't gotten any information yet. Okay, so here is our thanks. And I have one in like numerous colors. So I'm going to bring in black because I thought what I would do is I would put my thanks down the side here. So I have to figure out what, uh, you know, what order I want them in. My daughter was here she could help me out i think i need to have the poppy parade one at the top and then the daffodil and then that uh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute we have melon mambo in here too or maybe we're going to get rid of the poppy i don't know we might not have enough space oh yeah i think we will okay so this is this was my plan uh we'll see what happens okay so i am going to pick off the no i didn't make that very easy on myself did i okay so i should have made my adhesive sheets slightly larger that's pretty obvious now okay so i think what i'm going to try to do is i think i'm going to try to get all of these bits off of all of these and then we will 
stick them on. Ugh. Yeah, so this is another this is another little learning lesson for you guys. When you do this type of thing, don't do what Barb does. And make sure that your piece of adhesive is bigger than the one I did. And this one, I had it come off uh, when I put it in the machine. A lot of the backing came off, so, so that was fine. I don't have to mess around with that too much. Uh, this one, we will get some of this off. I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot of cleaning to do tonight. <laughs> Although maybe I won't clean. My husband and I have been watching Grey's Anatomy. Uh, we started watching it with my daughter over Christmas. Um, she had she was on like I don't know season five or something like that. So we started watching from season five to the end. Um, but now we're we've gone back and we are watching um, all the rest. Okay, there we go. Boy, this takes a while, doesn't it? I guess if I'm late to on tour, it's my own fault. I should have had this done already oh that's looking like that might rip please don't please don't rip on me because i don't want you to and i have no idea what we're doing with this card you guys this idea just came to me at about oh i don't know four o'clock and i go live at five my time so i literally just had time to basically die cut all these things yeah, kind of crazy. Oh, I think I hear some stomping around upstairs. That must mean my husband's home. And he may have to cook his own food because I may not have time. Okay, get that off. And finally, the gorgeous grape. Gosh, that was painful to watch. To me, that's almost like watching somebody color. Although, I don't know, watching somebody color isn't nearly as bad as this. Okay. All right. Oh, good. This one's almost done, too. Okay. So, we will now begin. So, I'm going to stick this one at the bottom. Hopefully, it's in the proper spot. You need to come down just a tiny bit, and I need to pop that thing out. Okay. So, that one, and then we'll do the Bermuda Bay. There's just something about rainbow order that makes me happy. It makes my daughter super happy too. She was down here organizing all of my stamp pads for me because I got the new Stampin' Up! storage. I think we talked about this last week. And yeah, she was really excited to um, <laughs> organize everything into rainbow order. So my ink pads, well not really totally rainbow order because I'm kind of a weirdo and I like them in order um, of the color families because that's just how I've always known them to be throughout my Stampin' Up! career, is everything is by a color families. You can see I'm using my Take Your Pick tool to kind of pick up that excess um, little shreds that sometimes, sometimes get on these little die cuts. Okay, there we go. Is anybody else doing on tour? this evening will i see any of you in a breakout room perhaps i hope so we can share some tips okay we'll do this one and hopefully we'll have enough room for our poppy parade one at the top i think it might be perfect oh my look at that i think it did work out pretty good okay and i need to get some more putty out of this thing it's probably time to replace it but there's still a tiny bit of putty left in there what colors am i using cheryl i've got poppy parade up here at the top and then i worked into uh, melon mambo and then daffodil delight and uh melon or uh, mango melody and then i did granny apple green and bermuda bay and then uh gorgeous grape and this is actually working quite well to get these little bits off here. Because sometimes, I don't know, just does that. Okay. Move all that out of the way. Then 
I thought there's a little sentiment. This is a stamp set that goes with the dies. It's called Well Said. What time is it? Oh, we got about five minutes, five or 10 minutes. And so I pulled out the thoughtful, kind, generous, that's you, because I thought that kind of worked with the thanks that we got going on here. And I need, well, probably two. I think I need a two inch circle punch and I'm going to go, I think with Melon Mambo. We'll see how uh, that looks when we stamp that on some white. Here's a scrap of white. This is a brand new ink pad too, so I'm kind of, kind of scared. Oh, upside down. Oh, that worked out all right. Okay. So I think I want to go with two inch, but that's not going to work. Well, actually, let's try the one and a half. And sadly, you guys, you probably know this, but all of our uh, circle punches are retiring, which just, I, I just can't even say how sad I am. But it is what it is. And I'm probably going to keep using mine because I like them. Okay, then we have some gorgeous grape ribbon. Ooh, maybe I'll stick it up here. I don't know. I don't know how to do this very well. Dean is the master at this. Uh, we'll try it. She's really good at doing this kind of zigzaggy thing behind the sentiment. I'm not as good. I think probably part of my problem is because I'm too anal about it. And she just, not that she doesn't care, but she's not super anal about it. And so it just, she just sticks it on there and it looks perfect. Um, it doesn't always work like that for me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Am I ruining it? Should I just skip that whole thing and then just decorate the inside with that? Maybe I will. Hold on. Okay. I kind of felt like in my mind I wanted to use Melon Mambo for the card base. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But I need a layer of white also. So hold on. Let me cut that real quick here. And there we go. And I'll put that on the inside and maybe we'll put this. Well, we don't even really need that. But this time we have to make sure it's not upside down. All right, so we're gonna try this in the center here, there. And then I also had these other little pieces over here um, that I thought would look kind of fun. These come, these are in the die set also. And I thought, um, I went ahead and did do the uh, sticky the adhesive sheets on the back. So I can hopefully peel those off fairly easily. Yes, that worked out so nice. And I thought I could maybe just set this down here at the bottom on the inside. There we go. Oh, that's cute. And then these little flowers, I just thought I just would throw on there wherever, kind of randomly. But I think I need a glue dot. And then I think I have a sneaking suspicion we're going to need some rhinestones. Uh, because who says you can't put rhinestones on the inside of a card, right? Ooh, and maybe we'll throw some on the outside too, just because rhinestones on black will be super pretty. Okay, so we'll stick one there. We'll stick one here. And we'll stick one over here. Okay, where's my rhinestones? They're right here, right in my stamping area. Yay! Okay, and we will just add a little... Oh, that's totally crooked. That's me not being able to see what I'm doing. And this one... And then I think we'll try to move that one a tiny bit. Okay, so let me trim off the ends. We will add some seal adhesive. We will stick this on the inside of said card. And like that. And then the outside. I don't know. Does that need? I mean, I do want to put the rhinestones on there, but I think it's fine just the way it is because it's so colorful. I'm really liking this, honestly. I love black with rainbow. It's just so much fun. Okay, then let us try. Maybe we could use a few. Uh, where am I going to put it? How about there? Maybe. Oh, I didn't even get it. Maybe there. A small one here. 
Should we just, can I just keep going? Or is that going to be like too many? Is there such thing as too many rhinestones? Probably. I'm probably going to hit the limit and it's going to look stupid. Um, oh, I might have already hit the limit and it might already look stupid. What do you guys, ah, nope, mm -mm, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. Can I get that off without ruining it? Yes. I'm thinking the big one is too big. And this needs to be maybe closer to, oh, I've got to close my eye. I can't get my take your pick tool under that thing with this stupid cataract. Ugh. Hold, please. Oh, there we go. Okay. I think we're going to do that. And this one, I think, might also be too big. Get back on there. Oh, come on. Why, when you're in a hurry, does nothing ever work? That's the story of my life. Okay, that looks dumb. We're going to get that off. Move that out of the way. Um, I'm thinking maybe like up here somewhere. Boy, did I just ruin the whole dang thing? Maybe I should just put them all in one spot. This may be a project for another day, you guys. Since I think I might have just ruined the whole thing. No, that's not working for me either. I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's not going to be that. But I need to go. So let me bring in my other card. Here it is. So here's our thanks. I'm going to try to fix that. And then here's the inside. Super cute. Using the well, uh, well wishes, well written. I think it's the well written dies in the well said stamp set and they're retiring. Uh, so is the boho indigo. Remember, I do have an online class. You can get the link in the description of the video. Um, and if any of you guys are going to on tour now at six o'clock mountain time, I will see you there. All right, you guys, and I'll be here next week, and I promise I'll have better projects, and I'll be more prepared. All right, you guys, see you next week. Bye-bye.